I made a vision board in the beginning of the year. Six months have flown by. Now it's time to take a look at how far I have come, what's still work in progress and maybe set some new intentions for the next six months. Hello, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Kinjal Popat. I am a fashion designer and a fashion business owner based in India. I make videos about sustainable fashion, lifestyle choices, daily vlogs and much more. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys my vision board and see how far I've come. Whether you're here to check your own progress, looking for some inspiration or just love the process of goal setting, this video is for you. So this is my vision board 2024. So I did make some long term and short term goals. I have the habit of writing my to do list every day before a day starts, meaning the night before and that's how i break down my big goals into the small small everyday tasks which are relatable and achievable i have put this picture here me wearing a nice dress standing on a podium giving a speech people listening to me i want this kind of thing maybe if not this year coming year this is a girl sitting on a sofa with her laptop on and there is a tripod where she's making a video so in this year my goal was to you know be more regular with making videos and maybe just focus on more content creation on my business and be more active productive last year i was way too much like stay at home not productive not getting ready enough so i was i made sure in 24 i am like quite more productive than last year so this is for my work like staying more active on my business or even on the social media or for the content creation now there's this third photo which is a girl with a horse and that is my favorite favorite goal of the year which i have completed horse riding is i i think I, I can make the whole new video on horse riding it has just been like two to three years since i finished my college or settled down a little bit in my career and all that and now i have time for some extra activities and i can think beyond work and studies as well so it just crossed my mind when i was writing my new year goals that these are what are some active things that i'm gonna make part of my routine in 2024 and horse riding crossed my mind for some reason i was just talking to one of my friend and he's like oh horse riding Karle. and i was like wait why don't i just do horse riding actually i love horses and then i took my time to sit with the thought and see if i actually still wanted to do it or it was just a moment and a heat of the moment decision so i inquired around like 15th december 2023 and then i finally called them like two three days before the january was about to start and i'm like okay i'll be joining from the first so from the first january 2024 i started horse riding now the next photo is me sitting with my team members and explaining them the project or just reviewing the business or doing a conference meeting or something like that why i put this picture was here just to showcase that uh, you know it is just how i like me being heard or my decisions being heard or I, I like sharing my ideas i want people's opinion i want like a teamwork and also this is just for that this picture here is just a lifestyle picture my macbook coffee nice clothes nice background like just living a good um, good quality lifestyle yeah. now this one here is a Forbes women's summit uh, I do wish if if I can be in Forbes 30 under 30 by any means like even if it's for content creation maybe even for some fashion or some business or w whatsoever reason is I am very 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 uh, obsessed with me being in Forbes 30 under 30 I'm gonna achieve it before I turn 30 that's my promise to myself Again, he, the top 30 under 30 is in the center here because that's the main goal. Girl holding a key, a car key here. Last year, I was just mentioning it very roughly to my parents that if I can and if I find, I'm just gonna buy a, a car for myself because I just need it now. It was want plus need. I'm not, I was not gonna die without a car. One day, randomly, my, my dad just called me and showed me this car and he's like, if you like it, we can buy it. And I'm like, no, it's okay. I don't want to buy it and all that. But somehow it, it worked out. And one backstory behind that is that I wanted to gift my parents a new car and I was saving for that car. And because my dad showed me that, okay, this is the car. Uh, if you like, I can buy it and all that. I was like, no, let me buy it myself. And the money that I saved for their car, I used it to buy my own secondhand car. So I'm just so grateful for me having my own car. This was my wish for last year. I mentioned it around like July, somewhere around 2023. And by November, 2023, I already had a car. So yeah, now the next photo is the Instagram achievement. Like I wanted to, 
uh, you know cross a certain amount of followers on Instagram which I have not been able to achieve so far I am only at 11.5k followers I for some reason my followers are leaving and I don't know why not that I am a full-time content creator but I did want to increase my following on Instagram this year which haven't worked but I think it will work out soon if you guys are not following me on Instagram go check out now like a girl sitting with a lot of packed orders and I just launched my business Lohana lifestyle in 2024 it's a sustainable clothing brand if you have still not checked that out I'll mention a link here below this was one of my wish of course that my business should like you know speed up or blow up and get a lot of orders and stuff like that which have not happened so far like I have only got like few orders it's like doing just good just decent but lucky for me i have got many orders so far and i'm just grateful for the progress so far in the beginning of the year because my last year was not so strong when it came to uh, financial freedom and i had like a lot of scrunchies because i was like starting my new business i had a lot to invest in that a lot of expenses was uh, happening for my own personal life for my business so Financial freedom was something that I was looking forward to when 2024 started. One of the also wishes was to invest my money a little bit in 2024. I was investing in 2023, but it was like equal to nothing. One of the goals for this year was to be very regular on YouTube. Which is if you're watching and if I'm making this video, if I've posted this on time, kudos to me and thanks to you for watching. One of the wishes for my this year is to buy a vlogging camera. I don't know which one yet. This is for the inspiration for my vlogging and my YouTube. It's not fair for me to spend like on a vlogging camera right now because technically YouTube is not paying me anything right now. So it would not make sense for me to like spend a lot of money on cameras and all. I, I uh, film from my iPhone right now, which is doing just fine. And it's just one of the things that I am fancy about. Yeah, but I, I, I feel it that by the end of the year, like before December, I will have a vlogging camera. I can feel it. Following the vlogging and all, of course, it's YouTube. Um, I have put a silver play button and definitely I just have uh, 290 subscribers right now. Newbie here. So I'm gonna hopefully stay consistent on YouTube, make more videos. Let me know if you guys enjoy my videos and don't forget to subscribe. I want silver button maybe this year or soon next year. Now it's this uh, girl driving a car. So as I mentioned here that I wanted to gift my parents a car, which is like an alternative. I wanted a car for myself, which I have now. As I said, I'm grateful for that. So I wanted to get into reading and read more books. Last year, comparatively, I was not reading books at all. But in 2024, I've managed to finish two books. Not finish, finish, because those books are something that are like self-help books and like growth books. So that does not have, they, they are not stories. They don't have to be finished, but I've managed to read two books almost. So that's a progress for me. I'm, I'm not a big time reader, but I have bought a lot of books. Now this one is for the fitness again. I wanted to be very regular in uh, yoga because that's something that I, when I joined yoga, I loved doing it. And it also kept me fresh on the go. Like it was right, st it was right start to the day and it made me feel fresh. Then it just got into a, a break and I still haven't started doing the yoga back. I try to do sometimes at home, but I'm not doing it every day. So I want to improve on that, but I want to make it a part of my daily routine, which I will do it in the next six months. Now, this one here is again a lifestyle photo. Now, I don't know if uh, you guys are following me on Instagram. I, ha I did share one photo of a watch. I wrote a caption saying manifesting this watch or something, something. So I wanted to buy that watch. It was a little expensive for me at that time. So it was something that I wished to buy, but soon enough I bought it and it somehow worked. I saved some money for that. And I did also get some little bit of discount. I went to the uh, store to buy my friend's wedding uh, gift. I wanted to gift her some watch for her and her husband. Um, so that day I again saw that watch and I was just like wishing for it. Like I was like, oh, I wish I could buy this. And I just randomly asked them the price and I'm like, mm, what is the price again? And they said it was for this much, but now it's for this much. It's running on discount. And I was like, what? No. So I just instantly broke all my savings and I just got that watch. So that watch was something that I wished for last year 2023 I got it so I also wanted to buy like a good good golden watch so this is just a lifestyle photo but also I specifically put it out here for the watch a golden watch and I just bought it this month let me show you guys 
So this is a watch that I recently got and I love it. I there's a little story. I know this video is getting long, but stick around. It's an interesting story. I believe that I have always 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 got what I've wanted. I've always believed that you know whatever I wish, uh, like I say that oh I wanted this, I wish I have this and within next 2 to 3 months or max 6 months I have that with me. And I don't know how that works out for me. Maybe someone gives me, sometimes I save it and sometimes I can buy it myself, sometimes it comes in the discount or some it, it just works it works out for me sometimes. And I'm just so grateful for all that things that I had so far, all the good things that life did to me and I only tell it to you guys that it doesn't matter how long it takes for you to achieve your dream do not stop dream- dreaming but also make it like more achievable think about it like be going in that progress area like if you want something break it down into a smaller goals and then everyday tasks and like make it more achievable so like if i have some five tasks today which is related to my goals after 6 months now that i'm reviewing it i feel like oh okay i've achieved at least half of them and if i've not achieved half of them i still have 6 more months so i will just say that so far a lot of things have worked out for me and there are things that is related to my business I need to read more and start reading more these are the things that i need to work on for next 6 months all that things that i have not achieved is is still okay because i still have some more time and i'm not going to beat myself up for like not being able to achieve a lot of things because i'm still doing good all that matters is you start and you just get things done thank you so much for watching this video also let me know if you guys make your vision boards or not and let me know what you guys think about making a vision board does it work out for you because it definitely works out for me so yeah that was all thank you so much i'll see you next time don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel Bye.